Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the guest additions to elementary OS on VirtualBox. Now you may have been directed here from our elementary OS installation for VirtualBox. If you haven't already installed the operating system and you're looking to do that within VirtualBox, you can click on the link here or look in the description where we have a video that walks you through it step by step. So what is guest additions? It allows you to share files from your desktop to your virtual machine. It literally allows you to drag and drop or copy and paste files, even text back and forth between the host and guest. Most importantly, what guest additions allows you to do is enter in full screen. And that's what most people use this feature for. And that's what we're about to get started doing right now. So the first thing that we want to do is open up the terminal window. And inside the terminal window, we're going to enter in a few commands that's going to help prep your machine before we install the guest edition CD image. The first thing that we're going to do is upgrade the software packages. So the command that we're going to be putting in is sudo app get update and then upgrade and then distribution upgrade. So we'll be running these three at once and then hit enter. We'll be prompted for the password. You can go ahead and type in your password and then hit enter again and it'll start downloading the packages and install them. And here is a notification about additional disk space that will be used. You can just hit yes and enter. So this will actually take a bit. Um, it'll download and install the required packages. So what we'll do is we'll just speed it up and we'll jump over to the next step. Now the next step is to install the required packages for building the kernel module. So we're gonna copy and paste this next line in and hit enter. Uh, again, the commands that we're using is in the description below so you can copy and paste them in there. So you will get a prompt uh, notifying you about the disk space that's going to be used. You can just say yes or why, hit enter and it'll continue through. Again we'll just jump through to the next step so we can continue with the installation. Okay and we have one more line to type in here which is sudo m-a space prepare. This is to prepare your system for building the kernel module. And then we can go ahead after this is run to install the guest edition CD image. The system is now prepared and you can go up to the device menu at the top and then click on insert guest editions. Now, if it works properly, you should get a prompt like this that'll let you click on download and then a verification here to download the ISO image. And then you'll get a download prompt like this and then you can insert the cd image unfortunately when i did it i didn't have much luck i went up to devices and i clicked on the insert cd image and i got this beautiful error so if you're lucky like me and you're getting this and it's not working the way it should by loading the cd image you're gonna have to do it manually by going into files and you'll see on the left hand side the image here but we'll have to do is just click on create and it'll manually load and mount this image onto the operating system. So we can click out of here and just work on that bypass. Okay, so to continue on, we can go into applications and terminal, and we have just a few more steps to wrap this up. Inside terminal, we're gonna type in BLK ID, and we'll get the output here of the virtual disk image that we're using. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a few drives and then mount them. So what we're gonna do is type in sudo mkdir space slash media slash cd-rom, enter. And then we're gonna mount it by typing in sudo mount slash dev slash sr0 space slash media slash cd-rom and then hit enter. So now we have to change the working directory to media CD-ROM. So what we'll be typing in here is CD space slash media slash CD-ROM, hit enter. And then we should be able to run the guests additions by typing in sudo space sh space vbox linux additions dot run. Hit enter and let that go through. Okay, and once this is completed, we'll get prompted to restart the operating system. So we'll just type in sudo space reboot 
and that'll automatically reboot the system. Okay, and here we go. So now it's just rebooting. We're gonna let it load up. And once it's complete, we can test our changes. Okay, so we're back at the login screen. We'll just type in our password here and then hit enter and it'll log into the operating system. Okay, so it's loading up here and we can just try stretching the window out to test this. And yeah, it's expanding the way it should. So looks like everything is working the way it should. Uh, the best test really is just to go to the view menu and then full screen it. Okay, perfect. So we have full screen mode. Guest Editions is successfully installed. We had a little bit of an issue, but we're able to work around that. Uh, and that's how you install Guest Editions on VirtualBox running elementary OS. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed my content, I'd appreciate a like. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.